Hey guys, me, Gene, and Germ, and we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to, the best way to find diamonds. We have a little showcase area here, and then I will show you two different methods on how to find diamonds. There are multiple ways, well, multiple uh, schemes of tools you can use for when you're trying to break, to break blocks for mining. Uh, the first one you can use is your hand. Uh, which takes about 10 seconds. Takes about 10, 10 seconds. Or at least, yeah. Then the next one you have is you have this wooden pickaxe here. Which takes about 1.5 seconds. Yeah, one Mississippi, two, one I broke the wrong one. Yep. <laughs> yeah, so about, about 1.5 seconds. 1.5 seconds. Next tool is a stone pickaxe. Which should take about... You stole my pickaxe. Seven point seven five seconds. Yeah, one, it's one Mississippi. Yep, that's about about a little under a second. Then okay, and then we have I iron pickaxe, which would take about 0.5, which is like half a second. So one is one. Yeah, it mines pretty fast. You shouldn't use Mississippi because um, it's under that. But yeah. yeah. Then we uh, have the gold. The, I'm sorry, the diamond pickaxes, diamond pickaxe. which go a little faster. Way faster. We, uh, okay. Point four, but still way faster. And the netherite pickaxe goes about it goes point another five point faster five. than the. D yeah, so it goes oh. pretty fast. Let me get this golden pickaxe over here. Yeah, wait. Let me uh, just, the reason just that golden pickaxes. Yeah. So the golden pickaxes are remarkably fast. They are very fast. Let me just duplicate this. So, but they're not used as as maximum pickaxes because of their very low durability and the fact that they cannot mine most like. Oh, they only can mine things like stone pickaxes. Come look. Here, let me, come look at the diamonds. If if you try to mine diamonds and iron pickaxe, well, golden pickaxe you get nothing, but an iron pickaxe you get something. Yep. So that's why golden pickaxes are not used in for being the best of the best. The also, they good. only have 32 durability, so that's not the best. Next up, we're going to be showing the different enchantments you can put on your pickaxe. So first, basic, efficiency. You can go from 1 up to 5. Uh, 5 is so the fastest. Efficiency, what efficiency does is it takes your pickaxe and it makes it faster. So you can mine stuff faster. So you can take your golden pickaxe, put efficiency 5 on it, and all of a sudden you're like zooming through underground. Yep, if you slash enchant... Efficiency 5, you can see how fast you can mine. Like, insta mine. Well, not quite insta mine, but. Almost insta mine, yeah, yes. Almost. The next thing we have is on breaking 3. This will make it so that your, your super awesome, super fast pickaxe lasts a long time. And Not the that. next one, you can actually do two. Like you can only do one. Uh, you have to choose either Fortune Three or Silk Touch. So we'll start with Silk Touch. What Silk Touch does is if I do slash enchant me Silk Touch, means if I break like this diamond, I get a diamond ore instead of as if Germ breaks it without Silk Touch, he only gets an actual diamond. So that's what Silk Touch does. It works on everything too, because you can even do it on grass. Even though it's not meant for grass, but... Thing is, you cannot get ores, so the only way to get ores is to actually smelt them after you do that. Yeah. And next then, one is Fortune 3, which Germ will show you. So when this is so that when you mine stuff, you get more than one. I got three diamonds from Okay, one break thing. one and I'll pick it up and I'll see how much I get. I got three. So I think it's between two and three? Well, you fortune can three? either get nothing, I think Max is for it. Yeah. And the reason that you cannot have Fortune 3 and Silk Touch on the same pickaxe is because then you could duplicate stuff forever. If, yeah. you mined, if you mined a diamond ore, and you got three ores, and then you placed three down, and you mined them all, and you got three more ores, that's nine ores that you just got from mining one diamond. Yeah, and uh, Silk Touch also does not work on iron ore. Or gold ore. Any ore that actually drops its ore without silk touch. Anything that normally drops its ore, or drops itself, doesn't change. So like, if you mine dirt, 
you just get dirt because you'd normally get yeah, only ores only ores okay so the next enchantment is mending which is very very useful it's like the best enchantment in the game if I do slash enchant okay so uh this one has the, give me some experience Sherm or like what so okay what do you say so mending mending when when you're holding well if there if you have an object in your inventory then when you take when you get experience instead of leveling you up it repairs your stuff uh so sure. how much how much damage do you have on that 1995 durability out of 2031 now when germ gives me experience it will go up <laughs> that went up really quickly and that's also why um this is oh so op because you don't have to actually wa waste a lot of experience on like repairing your pickaxe or materials on repairing your pickaxe you can just like mine nether cords or just kill mobs or put in your offhand to kill mobs with a sword and you can get a lot of you can just fix up your durability for free all you need is many a, a good note on how this repairs stuff is first it'll repair if it can it'll repair the thing in your first hand then it'll repair the stuff in your offhand then it will repair your armor then it'll repair anything else in the inventory so you have to hold the item in your in your hand, your offhand, or be wearing your arm. Uh, anything else in your inventory will not be uh, repaired. Yep. And so next up, we're gonna be showing you the different methods. Actually, here's just the the max pickaxe efficiency five, fortune three, and breaking three, and mending. So the like the first thing, if you want the best way to get diamonds, is just to get have this and just mine for diamonds but there's actually also different strategies you can use to actually find diamonds so we'll show two different strategies uh, we're going to show the first one right now so the ideal like the best um y level to mine for diamonds is y level 11 i will actually highlight where if you don't know where the x y and z are i'll highlight where it is okay so there's actually two different ways uh, right now i'm just going to strip mine as you can see, I'm using a max pickaxe, efficiency 5, fortune 3, and breaking 3, mending. I can mine really fast. And eventually, I can hopefully find some diamonds. There we go. Diamonds. That is so four, and I got twelve. That's tripled. Oh yeah, so that's that's a pretty good way to get things. Yep, but there's um, also a different way to get it. And a space and time improved way to strip mine. Yep. So you can it's, either get a trap door or water bucket for this. So you can put it down, go up here, and then just put it that way. Meaning, can if you mine one block, as you can see, you get to see. Four, like, like one block into one, two, three, four, five different things. But if you do normally, you can only get one, two to see this much. So one so, is faster than so two. Every, so when you're on your on your belly like this, for every one block you break, you get to see four more. Yep. But when you're normally for every for every two blocks you break, you get to see uh, six. So that's three per one block you get to break. Versus with the trapdoor, you get to see four with every one you break. Yep, and another way to do it is just water. You can... It's kind of yeah, holy, yeah. you have to be like up here. You can swim into it. And you're still here and you can actually mine. So I'm going to mine for this and see if I can eventually come into diamonds. And as you can see, I just found some diamonds. It took a while, but it's also kind of luck, too. The yeah, it's definitely luck-based. The way these ores generate is very, uh, very, uh, not, not, not well, skillful, it's yeah. natural. But the, ba not the best way to increase your chances is like max pickaxe, and just, like, mining as much as you can. Like, this is the best way, one by one block digging is, like, what I would do if I'm in, in like, survival world and digging for diamonds. So I dug around a bit and I actually found a cave which actually has diamonds right here. 
So this so, is the third method for finding diamonds. You just cave around. Actually, it's like um, it's a mix. It's an extra bonus for the second, the first method because you can just okay, actually, mine like this. Here, and go, if you find go back into that cave. Go back into that cave. Go forward. Left. Right. Uh, creeper. Right. Turn right. If you can't, when you well, can't turn even right. Even more diamonds. Is insane. No. Like it goes under the first strategy where you just mine around one block. If you run into a cave, definitely go into it because I just found three diamond patches. This is oh, insane. Actually, this is the luckiest I've ever seen it. We this did the not play this game ever. What is this? I we did not this, place right? a single one of those diamonds. That's actually really impressive. Wow, that is insane. So caving has its its definite. Yeah, uh, but to find caves, you bonus. have to use the first strategy. So I recommend the first strategy. strategy for because for long periods of time, for like super survivals, I would do strip mining. But when you're just starting out, go through a cave, get materials, and try to find diamonds. Okay, so on to the str second strategy. Um, this one, and you need, just need a vote. You don't even need a max pickaxe to actually do this. You can ha I'm just gonna use one, but you don't really need it anyways. So, as you can see, I can actually see through. Uh, that's because I have a resource pack called Fulbright, and it's basically like night vision, but a resource pack. It, I can, I'm gonna use it so you can easily see through the vision. So the strategy is you put the, uh, put down a vote. And still in survival. Normally you go like in this way, like that, and you can look around, and you generally look, okay, look, a, a ravine. So you'd go down into the ravine, ravine, this is a deep one, diamond spawn around here. You can easily find caves, which should have diamonds. We were just unlucky here, but maybe there's gonna be diamonds around here. Like this is a better way. This is like uh, caving. Like this is a good way to look around and find caves. Maybe it's really open. It's a good strategy. So that was a ravine, but not that deep a ravine. You just gotta go around. This is also like this is very luck based. There's actually a uh, a shipwreck. We're mining. Here. Can maybe can you mining find diamonds in shipwrecks? Is luck based. Sure. Can you find diamonds in shipwrecks? So. You can also find diamonds in shipwrecks. They're treasure chests. Um, an average of seven treasure chests. Uh, you have to search an average of seven treasure chests to get one diamond, but you, they are rare. But you can find diamonds in. It's like an extra uh, bonus diamond for just looking for these ravines in case you can actually find a shipwreck. Just go look at it. Just in case. Yeah, and also if you if you find a shipwreck. And it has a buried treasure map. In fact, most, if not all of them, do. Then you can follow that, and the, the buried treasure, they almost always have diamonds in them. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. So that, that's a good like little side quest to get yourself a little bit of extra resources. Yeah, that's something you can find while looking for these ravines. This one doesn't go that deep, though. Actually, you should just explore them all, because this one actually it doesn't look goes that deep. But this one just... Revealed me to this big old cave in near near diamond level. Goes deeper back into the water. Wow. Oh, yeah, this is the ravine you want to find. These are the big diamond. Ravines. And there are exposed diamonds. Turn around. Oh wow! There, I thought I saw. Okay, yeah. Here's just diamonds. It's not that many, but still. Diamonds. Oh, there are more. Turn around. No, no. Turn around. You see it? There you go. Yeah, even more diamonds. But I'm just so calling it because you don't want to waste ravines, time. You're gonna have to be very careful in noticing the small divots. You'll see that we found two, um, and one of them had diamonds. So just be careful with where, where you uh, just how you look. Yeah, there's an abandoned in mine shaft in here too. Okay, so to make it better, like to help you with strip mining, you can make a beacon. Uh, you need to kill the wither though, so this is very very late game. But all you need is nine blocks of iron, and then you put the beacon down, and then should activate. All you need is one iron ingot to, uh, or any of these gold, diamond, emerald, netherite even, but iron ingot's what I normally use. All uh, ingots just haste one. Done. As you can see, I should get haste. There we go. If I dig straight down, which you should never do, I can 
mistake so fast, almost instantly. And this will help you find your diamonds faster. Okay, so in, if you want to go even faster, you can make a max beacon, which costs 164 iron blocks. It takes a lot of time, but it's going to be worth it because you can actually increase the beacon and have other effects too. So if I go up here, before we had just a haste one. Now we can hit this secondary power, power it up, and I should get space 2. And if I find a hole, here's a hole. If I fall down the hole, I won't survive one. This is a insta mine. Remember, this isn't survival. Like, you could, this is amazing. You can bring your beacon down and just excavate a whole area with this. Faster. That's how it gets used for. Along with mining diamonds. Well actually mining diamonds is the lesser lesser used thing. They're mostly for for clearing out larger areas for like Yes, yeah, so but you can also mine diamonds. Like you can find diamonds. The like, haste one to haste two is like a big difference. Thanks for watching the diamond tutorial. Hope you enjoyed and hope you find many diamonds. Uh, we made a Discord server, a link to that in the description below. Thank you term for the diamonds and You're welcome. I hope you get rich. Bye. Have a good day, guys. Bye. Bye. Good luck.